Hey Gemini, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping and watching. This is your love reading for September, okay guys? Yes, yes, yes. What do we have for hey, Gemini in love? All right, so we got the Magician, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Hermit. So you're coming into this reading like pretty heavy here with the Magician, okay? So someone's definitely trying to tap into your energy, okay? For some of you, Gemini, you've been just spending some time, you know, alone maybe, you know, wanting to be alone, maybe doing some soul searching, you know, withdrawing from relationships, and things like this at this time, okay? Um, maybe thinking about it, you know, with somebody. Um, the Ten of Wands is coming in, you know, I don't know. I feel like it's like a heavy uh, energy for some of you, okay? So something's been um, burning you out. That's what I'm, I'm feeling with this Ten of Wands. I feel like, you know, um, you're kind of like at your tipping point. Uh, with this and you know something's just been a lot of hard work you know and you're trying to find a way you know to push through this and keep this going but um and I, I just feel like this this is where you know you want to be I feel like you know you just want to be you know alone right now because something has been again like tapping you know into your energy Okay, maybe there's been a lot uh, going on, you know, with this uh, magician card, you know, as well. Okay, maybe even some type of power struggle. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, all right? Or um, I don't know why I feel like, um, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I just kept, I keep feeling Pisces as well for some reason. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay, what else do we have here for you, Gemini? What else do we have here for you? Mm -hmm. What else do we have for you? Virgo. All right, we got a flipper. We're going to take it. So you got the two of wands. So this is you making plans, making decisions, you know, trying to figure out like, you know, if you want to progress, you know, with this relationship or this commitment, all right? You're like weighing your options, you know, right now, Gemini. So that means that, you know, you have, you know, other paths that you can take. Um, and that's what you're trying to figure out because the path that you're on right now, particularly with this person or whatever's concerning this person, is draining the frick out of you, all right? So you're trying to figure out, hey, you know, which way do I go? you know, when it comes to this relationship. For some of you, you could be planning to travel because the two of um, wands can represent travel. Um, your loved one could be, you know, at a distance from you um, as well. Uh, Gemini, uh, Queen of Swords is here. You know, this is, this is you, you know, or it could be you, or it could be, you know, of course, another person as well, but this is somebody who's logical, you know, I feel like you're using your intelligence, you know, to try to figure out like what decision to make, you know, what path to take, you know, um, like you're dealing with your matters, you're dealing with the matters when it comes to this with, you know, you're being smart about it, you're being clever, I don't know, what am I trying to say, um, I know you could be dealing with a jealous person. You could be also dealing with somebody who doesn't really like to show their feelings, you know, as well, okay? Or that Queen of Swords could just be you, all right? You um, using your logic, you know, to try to figure this out. Um, we got the King of Pentacles that just flew out. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Like I said, a Virgo, you know, I don't know why I'm feeling Virgo, but feel Virgo heavy here um, with this King of Pentacles. You know, this is somebody, you know, who is, you know, can be patient. You know, this is a stable person, a disciplined person, you know, somebody that's generous, you know, good with business, very practical. These could be some things that you like about, you know, this person. However, this person could also, you know, be a little too grounded for you, air sign. You know, this person could be a little too practical, you know, maybe, you know, too slow, you know. <laughs> Um, maybe they, you know, it's just, they may be, I don't know, maybe, and again, it could be things that this is, could be what you like about them. You know, a king of pentacles, you know, like I said, they're, they're grounded. They usually got their money in order. They're usually very disciplined and, you know, they're usually generous, you know, when it comes to stuff like that, but they could also be, 
you know, very stubborn, all right? So I don't know. Let's see what else we have here. Do I really want another one of these? I'm not sure. So since I'm shuffling, I'm just gonna go ahead and take one. There we go. So you got death and you have the ace of swords. So with the death card, I know that something has ended, of course, okay? So there's something that has um, completed itself uh, when it comes to you. You know, all things must pass. You know, there could be an ending, you know, coming up here. But then at the same time, there could be something new coming in because you got this Ace of Swords, okay? So what the frick is this? Um, I don't know. Uh, you could be wanting clarity, you know, about a situation or from somebody, or this could just be a new beginning because you literally got death, which is an ending, which also represents a new beginning. And then you got the Ace of Swords, which is also, you know, like a new beginning. So maybe that's what you're trying to figure out here, you know, whether or not you want to continue on, you know, with this person. It could be some issues here with this person for sure. Like I said, this person could be draining you somehow. I don't know what they want from you, but um, let's just let's just see if we can, let's just keep going with these for a minute here, okay? Let's just try to figure this out. What does this person want from you? Okay, they probably want a fresh start. <laughs> probably what they really kind of want here. Yeah, they want a family with you. You got the ten of cups here, so they want um, things to work. They want it. They want a security. They want you know a family. They want a home. You know, this is what this person wants from you. They just basically want to just, you know, try to pick up possibly, you know, where you guys, you know, have left off. But shit, you know, I don't know. Is your heart even there? Not really sure. Ooh, damn. Oh, oh, oh. All right, got more than what I wanted. All right, so we got the tower. We got the devil. We got the queen of pentacles. So we got, um... We got a couple here. So we got the king and we got the queen, you know, of pentacles. So, you know, this is two, this, these are, I mean, imagine these two living together. Although they probably have a lot in common. They probably bump heads, you know, a lot too. Like, where's the balance here? We got two grounded, stubborn, secure, not wanting to let go, take risks, you know, type of people. You know, we got people with money, you know, both of you could be concerned with your money matters and like a nice home and nice things. But, you know, there's no, where's the fun at, you know, between these two. So there could be, that could be lacking here, you know, having, you know, fun and just relaxing, you know, just a little bit. I mean, you and I, I mean, you're an air sign. What you going to do with an earth sign? I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you, you kind of like to be free. You know, you like to play. You know, this person, these these two right here, this 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 is a hard couple, I think, to get along, these two. Like, I don't break it up a little bit. Ooh. So you got the devil, you got the tower, and you have the seven of cups. So, um tons of indecision here, you know, with the seven of cups. I kind of felt that you know, coming into the beginning of the reading here. I feel like right now, you know, you're not so sure about this choice or whether you should accept, you know, this opportunity, okay? And I feel like you're constantly thinking about this. You're constantly thinking about it. And then with this, with this, oh, look at these. These, I, I don't even know where to go, you know, really with the two of these. The devil and the tower together. I mean, this is like the worst luck you know, I feel like, you know, in the world, you know, with the devil, you know, there's all kinds of feeling stuff, you know, you're feeling like you have no options, you know, you feel stuck to a person, the obsession, the obsession is here, this is a lot going on here, then you got the tower here, which is just full of chaos and, you know, breakdowns and, and things like that, so this is just, I, you know, I don't, I mean, they came out, so they must have been meant to come out, but what can, oh, what can, I, this is too much, I can see why, you're in this 10 of wands, you know, although, you know, 10 is about completion. So I can see why you're in this 10 of wands energy, because this is just the frick a lot. It's a lot. Burnout. This, this right here is a lot. This is a lot. Dealing with this devil, all this earth here, this Capricorn that's right here. You definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or any earth sign, you know, for that matter. But this person is, is getting... I don't know, they kind of getting on your nerves and I feel like you're really trying to figure this out. You know, should I let this go? 
should I move on? Should I make other plans? You know, I, I don't know. And then, you, then you're trying to figure out how to let this person know that. And to be honest, I don't think you're going to take it that well with these two here. I think this person will have a breakdown. And they're not going to want to hear what it is that you have to say. I just don't see them doing that. That's why you're sitting here thinking about this. Like, you're thinking about how do you tell this person how you feel? How do you tell them that, you know, you kind of ready to go? Look, five of wands on the bottom of the deck. Like, all you guys do is argue, struggle, chaos, you know, rivalry. Like, it's just, it's just too much going on, you know, between the two of you. So, I can see why you're trying to figure out, like, what direction to take here. I, I, yeah, I see that. All right, what else for a Gemini? So you got a visitor coming in. <laughs> you got a visitor. So you could be maybe planning to meet up with this person, maybe have a conversation with this person. You got, I'm sorry here, okay? I'm not sure who's apologizing. Maybe it's this visitor that's coming in, that's coming in to apologize. Uh, maybe you're going to pay this person a visit just to maybe sit down and talk with them to let them know that this is not going to work. I don't know, but... We got an apology here, and we have someone knocking at your door, okay? Oh, dang. So we got rejection. So you could very well not accept this apology if this is somebody coming in to apologize to you, okay? Yeah, you got a soulmate here. So this person's going to pour it, pour their heart out to you. They, they really are, you know, and I feel like, you know, they're either, you're going to reject them. You're going to tell them no. And you're going to continue to focus on your money, focus on your finances. You know, you've got a special um, occasion here. You're just going to move on with your life, doing what you want to do. You know, special occasion, that's like the three of cups. Like, you're just going to move on with, you know, your life. Okay? Enjoying your friendships. You know, having fun. Doing you. What else? Forgiveness. Damn, somebody wants to say they're sorry to you, Capricorn. And I almost feel like that's you. <laughs> somebody wants to fix, you know, what they what they broke, but I don't really see you wanting the same. I don't see that. You know, there could have been somebody here that was being unfaithful. I, you know, that's a possibility here with this, um, yeah, healing your heart. Yeah, somebody could have been unfaithful. I don't know who that was, um, but they want to come back and spend some time with you. That's what they want to do, okay? That's what they fly at night. What else for Gemini? This person could have all kinds of issues. I shit you not. Literally with that devil in this tower here. It's a lot. So you got the Knight of Pentacles that just popped out. You know... Mm. That's a message. Somebody got something to say. Um, that's an offer. They want to offer you something. The Knight of Pentacles. They want to offer you something. They, I don't know. This is they. They coming in easy though. I can tell you that. And then, and God, this this is an herb sign, man. I, I, this is definitely for some of you. You know, uh, and it's probably a Virgo. It could be a Capricorn. But you know, got the Tower. This is this is the stuff you don't want. You don't want this. You don't want this tower. You got the tower twice. This is like legit upheaval. All right. I mean, every negative word that you can think of right now, you know, you know, shit changing your whole game up. You know, your peaceful life just coming to, you know, an abrupt end, okay? There's so much. The energy here is so uncertain dealing with this person. Then again, is it? You know, because I feel like you know them. I feel like you know how they are. Like, seriously. You know how they are. You got the hangman. The nine of swords. And you got strength. This person gonna stress you the fuck out. <laughs> that's just it. This, for, this man. That's what we gonna title this reading. This person is gonna you need the. You got the hermit on the bottom of that guy. I have so much to say about this. I mean, so much to say about this. This is why you want to. This is why you want to be alone. I don't know if the cat just knocked something down. I don't know what that is. But you got the hermit. This is why you want to be alone. This is why you want to be by yourself. This person gonna stress you out. You got strength. Like goodness gracious. I 
I get it. Like, after going through everything with this person, you probably have the strength to withstand anything, right? You, you, you have to. You got the Nine of Swords and you have the Hangman. So much to say about this. So, so much heavy energy. Like, you've had to sacrifice a lot of your time, your money, your patience, your nerves, your veins, you know, dealing with this person. But unfortunately, you know, the hangman is all about like letting go, you know, and this is, I can see why you've done this. I can see why you've let this person go. And now I can see with the hermit here, um, I see why you got the hermit twice. You got him on the bottom of the deck here and he came out, you know, as your second card. Like this person is too much, this person's too much. I see why you I see why you withdrew from this person. There's there's too much. I don't even want to pull no more cards out there. I really don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. And right, let's move on. So you got cycles. You know what that's about, guys. This is about repeating, you know, the same stuff happening over and over again. Get together, break up, have to heal your heart. Get together, break up, have to heal your heart. Same thing, you know, it's, it's, that's what this is. Bunch of cycles. That came out so awkward, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep them, okay? So you got metamorphosis, okay? That's that changing, you know, switching things up. One, This person's, you know, one way by day and another by night, okay? You got a third party. So there's that inconsistency, the cheating. The answer is no. Like I said earlier, you're going to tell this person no, no, no. There's so much that you don't know, you know, that this person is probably hiding uh, from you. So I, 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 I just kind of look forgiveness, forgiveness. This person just balancing the scales. They want to fix this. They want to fix this. You left them alone. You left them alone, and now they want to come back and fix this. They want to try to convince you that, you know, they want to do right, you know, this time. Okay. What are they not saying to you right now? What do they want to say to you? Or what are they going to say to you when they come knocking at your door, Gemini? Because somebody's coming to say they're sorry. They're coming to ask for forgiveness. They want a new beginning, the fool. Okay. This is what they think you are, though. They think you're a fool. <laughs> right? They think you done lost your rabbit ass mind, you know, to let this person in again. You know, they're looking at you like you're naive and that you don't know no better, right? But you do know them. You know them very well. What else? What else? It says, this person says they're, you know, truly in love with you. That's what they want to tell you. I beg to differ when they're truly in love with you. Mm. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? That's just for Gemini. All right, God, damn. got forgiveness again. Damn, somebody really wants you to forgive them. They gonna beg and plead this. If this ain't them, it's you, right? You can always, you know, re reverse the, the messages, but dang, they really wanna say they sorry. Waiting for the opportunity. Yeah, they've been waiting for opportunity. To slide their asses right on back in here. That's what they've been waiting for the opportunity to do. Money, security, and stability. This is what they want from you. There's no love here. There is no love here. Impossible to fix. Okay? It's impossible to fix. Okay? All right, Capricorn. I'm sorry. Capricorn. Y'all got Gemini with Capricorn. Um, Gemini, um, this is your love reading for um, September. Like and subscribe, guys. And um, I will see you in the next video.